Hi, Jason here from TGN again. All right. So today we'll be covering a follow-up to the 10G uh, products that we have on the earlier video. Okay. So today I'm going to do an unboxing for the UAP XG. Okay. So this is the um, highest capacity AP from uh, Ubiquiti for under the Unify family. All right. It's still under 11 AC wave two. Okay. So do note that, but it has a quad radio. Okay, and with a 10G uh, gigabit Ethernet port, which you can connect to either a switch or a router with 10G port. Okay, so now um, before we go into the actual product itself, all right, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel or remember to like our videos that we have. All right, and our Facebook page is as usual at TGN Tech. Okay, and should you have anything that you want to reach out to us, you can reach out through any of our social media. We have on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. All right. So now, without much ado, let's go into the actual hardware itself. All right. So now on the table here, I have the actual unit as I'm about to unbox it. All right. So as usual, all right, you have it all in white. Okay. Now remember, it's a rather large unit. Okay. So it's really heavy. Let me open up the box as we can see here. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. So over here. This is the actual unit itself. All right, it's pretty heavy, so be very careful. All right, so this is the AP itself. Okay. Okay. So this is the AP. All right. It's, as you can see, my hands are actually quite big, and it actually fully cover all my whole hands. All right. These are the two ports that I want to talk to you about. Okay. So basically, there are one that is one G and one that is ten G. Okay. So you can power up by PoE on the one G, and should you have a ten G, you can plug it into the ten G for your data port. Okay, and the reset button is just next to it over here. Okay, so you can see this is the actual unit itself. And as usual, to make it uh, weather resistant, all right, all you have to do is just attach the unit, uh, the cover, the rubber cover, all right, and put your cables through, and then clamp it, and then plug it in, and you'll be able to uh, sufficiently protect it and put it under a shelter, it be that you're outdoor. Okay, because we know that this is one of the highest capacity AP. And you may have it for events where you have quite a number of people and you want to ensure that it has the capacity to hold it okay so let's put the ap aside let's take a look at what's inside here so you have the mounting plate okay in case if you need to mount it onto a ceiling okay it's pretty heavy okay so be sure that you put it correctly and you have the hardware kit, all right. So this is where they keep all the screws. Okay, given that this is a very um, pricey AP, so it comes at premium, and all the screw sets are actually done up very very nicely in layout for you. Okay, so you can see here. Okay, and you have the quick use quick start guide, all right. So it basically goes through as usual all the information, and it provides you with a injector. Okay, so in this case, the injector is actually 802.03 BT. So it's actually um, very, very powerful. It's more than 30 watts, okay? So this will be a bit pushing it at close to 60 watts, okay? So this is provided for you. If you're putting on a switch, be sure to make sure that your PoE switch allows and accept for uh, BT, okay? So beyond that, uh, basically that's about it for the, the hardware itself, okay? Let me put it back, okay? So let's move on to the actual website, okay? Let's see what they have to say about it. Okay, so on the Google Chrome, which I have here, right, you can see that it has already said that it is the world highest capacity Wi-Fi AP, all right? It's 11 AC Wave 2 quad radio. So it has 2.4 at 800 megabits per second, and it has um, additional 3 5 gig radio, all right, and the total add up at 4,200 is 4.2 G. Okay, so you can see that 4.2 G aggregated throughput. All right, in terms of capacity, it's able to handle um, up to 1,500 devices in terms of clients. Okay, and it's MU MIMO, it's Wave 2. Okay, and it has a 10 G output uh, in terms of the Ethernet ca uh, cable connector. Okay, so now the idea is to have a 10G AP so that it's future proof to make sure that your whole entire Unify network, all right, you can have it on the 10G uh, Unify route, uh, security gateway, you can have it on 10G switch, all right, and then followed by the, in, where you have all the integration with, with full 10G. Okay, this is one of the highest performing AP in the world. 
Okay, as you can see, comparing it with uh, Ruckus and Aruba, all right, you are able to do uh, easily more than 100 clients. Okay, be that you are even streaming at HD. Okay, with all 100 clients, all right, or even if you have a full download of 100 clients at 5 megabits per second. Okay, so one of its radio is actually being used for scanning of security. Okay, so it's basically using to make sure it checks. Um, the airtime utilization, spectrum monitoring, okay, and even for intrusion detection and prevention. All right. For that to happen, make sure that you have to be using the unified security gateway in order for it to work. Okay, because what happens is you will be integrating it partly with the IDS and the IPS. Okay. So as usual, let's let's not forget about the unified controller. Okay. In the controller, as usual, you will be able to do all your discovering, provisioning, and monitoring for your Unify. All right. So this is basically a quick recap on the 10G AP that we have. All right. So now, should you have any questions with regards to any of the products, okay, please feel free to contact us. All right. All right. And you know, our website is always available at www.tgntech.net. Okay. It's tgntech.net. Thank you very much.